Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I'm on the way to the gym. Okay, this video is think of it like a game. So instead of just going on automatic pilot, think of your life like a game. This is going to give us the better, better chance of prevailing the next 10 years. What's likely to happen is we might lose our standard of living. The price of everything is inflated. We don't have that much more money. Some of us are getting older. I'm on my way to the gym. If any of you ladies are older, I would consider Choose Gym if you have one. They've been so nice to me and they've really helped me a lot. For one thing, they've helped me to want to go there. <laughs> so, um, okay, so think about life like a game well what kind of game like a chess game like a war game who is going to who is going to come out better the the person who is like a chess mess master at life or the person just you know sacrificing a pawn here sacrificing a pawn there pawn there sacrificing five dollars here ten dollars there Okay, so I will tell you something that happened to me. I, will, I go to the gym. I like to get a little snack on the way home. I've been going to this place for years. So what happened is they closed down and they made it more like self-serve. But it appears that they really want us to, to idle for five, ten minutes and do the drive up. I am not doing that. Gas out here is brutal. Let's see how much... I get premium gas because I like my car. Well, regular is 568. I'm not idling in traffic to get a snack. So I thought, what am I going to do? Well, the force was with me. Look at this. Look at this. Two slices. Two slices. Here's the other slice. For three dollars. I thought, what am I crazy? Look at this. Yes. One aspect of the game is to enjoy the game, but another aspect is to guard our money. Hmm. Refill one dollar. Why am I going to pay two and three dollars when seven eleven one dollar or buy some and keep it in a cooler? No waiting. Another thing is you get your own piece, and so why wouldn't you select the piece with the most pepperonis on it? I mean, not to be selfish, but it's... <laughs> okay, so, so it's like what we're doing is we're preparing... We don't know what we're preparing for because we don't know what's down the pike. But every single day we're preparing for things that might affect us. So they warned us inflation in um, gasoline. So I'm definitely not going to be idling to wait to pay you a higher price because you remodeled your restaurant. I'm not idling I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to the gym and back. Utilities, okay. I'm out of my house between the hours of uh, 5 and 8 p.m. so that I can't possibly use any utilities. Uh, clothing, okay. I mentioned to you guys that one of my um, clients, she was older at the time. Not, real, not as old as I am now, but I was very young. And... Um, she would buy her, like, all of her clothes. Like, if she would go to pick and save and buy a purse in every color at, at pick and save. And, you know, but really about her was her lifestyle was very, um, her job was to create a house, take care of this man's daughter with money whose wife had died. 
and keep the house up and she used to make the most delicious coffee cake you know it's the small things it's your lifestyle so i am going to be buying things in every color i am going to be uh, making food from scratch because this is part of the game i'm going to be trying to keep other people from helping themselves to my funds okay uh increased our rent travel and health care i do plan on taking a couple trips hopefully some kind of pandemic is it conceivable that uh some pandemics could could hit or some disease yeah especially in these uh, areas where there's a lot of fighting no water um i did you know i did the displacement video uh displacing um the salt out of the water with steam and then i want to mention something that's really helpful too okay and in most americans um, we say okay hard times beans and cornbread so you would get some we usually had navy beans with ham and cornbread um, some people in america have pinto beans with rice um, and so okay so think about that and so last night i was making sticky rice and you really need to buy a certain kind of rice for that and i thought i am not buying any kind of rice i am just going to have my i'm going to boil my own rice and then i'm going to put the coconut i had coconut milk because i use that to make coconut i make curry chicken curry vegetable curry and then if you pour a little coconut milk on top so I had coconut milk with uh, sugar and mangoes, and I buy dry mangoes. So I thought, okay, in Europe now, there is um, inflation on fruit, like uh, Russia too, uh, oranges in particular. So I'm gonna be stocking, I, I'm thinking about the game, okay? I look up, up into the horizon and I see inflation on fruit so i want to stockpile some dry fruit so if you have never tried dry mangoes if you, i couldn't find canned so it's rice and you just cook it really soft or you can figure out how to make sticky rice i mix some sugar and coconut uh, milk and i poured that on the rice and then i put the mango so that was my thumbnail i wanted to show you so and then I had some chicken. So that was a really good meal. And then I made the tuna with corn and pickles, which gives you a little extra uh, nutrition. And it was good too on crackers. So these little things, you know, you might be thinking, well, big deal, uh, big deal on the, the drive up. Well, it is because you're, if you, if you eat a snack every day, like I do, it adds up. I like to eat out for lunch and then I usually cook dinner. Okay, so now um, another thing about the sticky rice is it's really good with egg rolls. So I noticed that they had a nice assortment of egg rolls and noodles at um, Dollar Tree. So if you were to make yourself some sticky rice also uh, omelets are really good so i like to eat out i don't want to spend much money i want to buy my clothes all like i will be searching and when i find a good deal otherwise i will go to the thrift store uh, what i did when i needed gym clothes is i just went and i bought seven sets of gym clothes and a few jackets too so gym clothes the gym is hard on your clothes so I am going to buy every three months seven um, clothes for wearing to the gym. And then when I'm done with my sell them, I wanted to mention these. I mentioned these. See this brand of, of Levi's? I bought these uh, at its signature Levi's. And these are the high rise. So if you're older like me, that controls your belly. That's very important. So um, I will be buying, I'm waiting for those to go on sale 
and I like to buy three pair of Levi's. That, that takes care of the pants. And also for the gym, cheap tennis shoes. Because I noticed after about a month, the, the uh, gym clothes are shot. Here's a lovely pair of sunglasses I bought. I bought these two sunglasses. These are cute, really cheap at uh, Brands Overstock. Uh, I still don't have a pair of white. So um, thinking about, okay, they're coming, they're coming for our gasoline. Forget it. Okay, and what is this? this game going to uh, result in for us? Well, it's going to result in a lower standard of living. And another thing is we shouldn't be letting people tell us what we're gonna do. Okay, you're gonna wait in line. I did go into the restaurant. Uh, first of all, you have to ask them to unlock the bathroom. You have to stand there, then you order your food and you have to wait and they get your drink and they don't fill it all the way full. Like my, this is a really good 7-Eleven. I buy everything here. <laughs> I buy my gas, I buy, I live here. But I had to stand there, I had to wait for nap, no napkins unless you ask. It was no straws unless you asked and uh, not enough ketchup to eat my large order of cold fries or to eat my, no, this is not happening, you guys. This is not playing the game well. Uh, this, this is like, okay, you wanna enjoy some pizza? Don't, don't go broke, just get some pizza. Okay, now, um, The utilities is very important. So the, and the car living is very important. So I spend a lot of time in my car because it saves me money. It saves wear and tear. I love my house. I don't want, it's like a pair of shoes. I don't want to, to tromp my house down. I love my, so I love my car. You wouldn't know it, but actually my car has very few miles on and it's paid for. I really love my car. So, okay, so be thinking about a lifestyle and a game. It's a lifestyle. You want a decent lifestyle so you're not suffering. I've known, I've known men when I was a barber. One, he was looking, he was looking so pitiful. He's working so hard. Um, and I, and, and like, he wouldn't do anything. He's really cheap. He was saving up his money. He's going to buy, I go, um, can I ask you a question? Why are you doing this to yourself? He goes, oh yeah, I am saving up money so I can buy a really nice house. And I want to marry a younger woman and, and have a child. I go to myself, you gotta be kidding. When I was young, that's the least thing I was thinking of my life. And I said, wow i go uh do you have somebody in mind and he goes yes i go these are goal driven men these are the kind of men you're trying to find right not the kind not the kind i found my ex well he okay there's the short view and then there's a long view if you look at the the big picture my husband was the perfect husband but while i was married to him it was awful right so if any of you girls are younger, be thinking about that. So, you know, there are people, they would just go down and dirty, suffer, save money, you know, to get to your goal. I was never that way. And in the end, now that I'm 70 years old, I'm so healthy, I'm so happy, but it wasn't that easy, but I, um, it's how you play the game, you guys. The people who play the game the best are gonna get, we're gonna win the game. Okay, you guys, I will see you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.